Hello everyone! So today I thought I would, oh, first of all start off, I'm on a spinny chair today. It's just a bit of excitement for me. Um, today I thought I would talk you through my everyday makeup routine. Um, I'm not going to actually do it, I'm not going to do a tutorial and this probably wasn't the best day because I'm not actually wearing my everyday makeup. Um, but in the previous videos I'm pretty much wearing my everyday makeup so just going to talk you through it in chronological order, step by step, and you can see the makeup that I'm currently using just on a day to day basis. So let's just get straight started. Start off with my Revlon Colorstay Foundation for Combination Oily Skin in the shade Sand Beige. Lovely, um, probably might be too heavy coverage for some people for everyday use but um, because I like to have um, a full coverage every day this is pretty ideal for me and I would really recommend this because I think it's brilliant really great coverage stays on I've raved about this in plenty of other videos if you haven't tried it already go and try it they also have one for normal and dry skin uh, second of all I would use my uh, collection lasting perfection concealer where it's all rubbed off but it's, this is in the shade number two, which is light. And uh, just got your doe foot applicator. And that is fantastic. I know this is also raved about on YouTube. Um, and it's brilliant because it's only £4.19, I believe. And it does everything you would want in a concealer. And it's just about better than half the price of all the other higher end ones. So I love that. Next of all, I set my makeup and I used the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Powder in... 004 Sandstorm. Um, this is just like this. And I apply this with my Real Techniques buffing brush. And this is brilliant just to buff in. Um, they're so soft, these. Mm, absolutely love them. And now I've had them, I probably wouldn't want to try anything else because no other brushes just seem as good as these. So love these. The next thing that I would do is apply blush. And this is Rimmel London's Lasting, lasting Finish. Lasting. Lasting finish soft colour blush in it's either live pink or live pink. I'm gonna leave that up to sort of discussion what you think. Um this is just a very pretty sort of coral, bright pink, and it doesn't actually come out that bright. If you can see that, it's actually quite pale. And I use my Real Techniques contour brush to apply this. So I know you're supposed to contour with this, but I've heard um on plenty of other YouTube videos that people use this for blush, and I do too. Um, I'm not sure whether I'd actually recommend this because it says it's lasting finish but I find that it comes off pretty quickly on me so maybe wouldn't recommend it. It's a very pretty colour but I'm probably just gonna, I will be looking for a new blush sometime soon because this hasn't really impressed me but I'm using it for the minute and getting my use out of it. Next thing I would do is use my bubblegum lip scrub. Something's just rolled off the chair. Oh well. Um, I think I got cut off there, so I'm just going to start again. I got my Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub. So again, I use this in my, well, mentioned it in my previous video about how you just scrub your lips and then you have lovely, soft, smooth lips and it's a perfect base and a foundation for you to work with. Um, I would then apply my lip balm, which I don't have on me right now, but I've been using either the Burt's Bees Lip Balm in Honey or Vaseline in cocoa butter, which has been a new discovery for me because I've only ever tried sort of the rest of them. I'd never tried the cocoa butter one before, but that's fantastic. Any basically any lip balm that I have to hand, I use, um, and that is just to sort of prep my lips ready while I do other makeup. I don't go straight to the lips then, so they're sort of I let my balm sort of sink in, and then I curl my eyelashes just using some pretty standard eyelash colours from the Body Shop. Uh, then using my L'Oreal. Volume Million Lashes, and this is what it looks like. Again, pretty standard. I like this one because it is volumising, but it's also very defining and it's perfect. Um, this has been my favourite for a long time now, and I probably will repurchase it because it does everything that I want in a mascara. I don't really feel ready to branch out from that. Um, this would be the point that I then go on to do my lips and then the colour I've been using recently is number seven's Moisture Drench Lipstick in Cameo. This is a very, very pretty pink. Let's put a swatch for you. That's the pink that it is and it's lovely and it's really nice just for everyday use. Um, I don't put it too much on so it's not like fully opaque because otherwise that might be too much. 
um, but it just gives a nice wash of colour. And then recently I've started filling in my eyebrows, which I didn't really used to do before. Um, and I, I tried using a pencil for a while, bought the wrong colour so it was too dark and I looked absolutely ridiculous. So I've taken the tips of many people on YouTube really um, and started using eyeshadow, so powder. Um, the one I've been using is Naked from the Urban Decay Naked palette and that's just this shade right here. And I've been using a Barry M angled brush just to apply this and it does the job lovely I think. Um, Naked is actually quite a pale colour and although I have dark eyebrows I find that it does well because if I fill in a colour, the sort of skin where it's sparse um, with something that's too dark it really doesn't look natural and they just look drawn on. Whereas with the powder it just sort of helps to fill them out a bit but not looking too heavy so that's all good in my books. Um, so basically that's my everyday makeup routine. Um, may not be in the same order that everyone else does it but it seems logical to me and it works for me so I'm happy with it at the minute. Um, I'll probably do an updated one uh, in the future if I change things up but for, ha for now anyway I'm really happy with everything that I've got. So I think that's just about it for uh, my everyday makeup routine so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've had a lovely day.